What's going on, moviegoers? So we got some big updated news for that Joker origin spinoff from the DCEU. I am extremely excited about this Joker movie. From the get, when I heard that Joaquin Phoenix was going to be the Joker, I was like, I love this idea. I like it. It's something very different. And I was so surprised he said yeah to the role. He must have read the script, or Todd Phillips, the director, must have pitched him something that he really, really liked. And he was like, of course, I'll take this role, and I'm going to knock it out the fucking park. So I'm excited to see how he portrays the crazy one, the Joker. But in other news, Alec Baldwin has signed on to play Thomas Wayne, yes, Bruce Wayne's father, for the movie. This cast is looking very exceptionally well. Like, really fucking good. <laughs> like, you have Joaquin Phoenix. You have Robert De Niro. You have Zazie Beetz, who's in Deadpool 2, and Donald Glover's Atlanta. Phenomenal actress. And now you're adding Alec Baldwin for Thomas Wayne. I'm liking this so far. The cast for this movie is looking really fucking good. Really good. And I heard it's really leaning towards an R rating. And if that's the truth, I'm liking it even more. It's going to be real gritty. Something we've, we haven't seen before from the DC world. You know, something that's R rated like that. It's going to be something. It's going to be phenomenal. I can't like, I, I'm so excited that, you know, it, it has the potential of being an R rated movie. Like, I love that idea. I love that aspect of it. Because, you know, R rated comic book movies are important for certain characters. They really are. Logan, Deadpool, stuff of that nature. And I feel like the Joker, if, you're, if you were going to do a spinoff of the Joker, why wouldn't you do it R rated? I mean, make that shit as gritty and dark as, as you can. I mean, Heath Ledger's Joker, that was PG-13, and it was still phenomenal. I mean, that taking my hats off to Christopher Nolan and the writers and Heath Ledger for still making it feel that way with that rating. So I am excited that this film is leaning towards that R rating. Now, as far as, like, I have this theory for Zazie Beetz. I was like, what if Zazie Beetz, like, what if she's like Harley Quinn? I was like, I, I like that. She looks like she could play a great Harley Quinn. Not saying that Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn wasn't great or not. It's just, I felt her Harley Quinn to be kind of annoying in Suicide Squad. And I was just like, oh my God, stop talking. I'm over you. Um, I know that's her character. I feel like that's just her character in general. I feel, you know, very annoying for some reason. Um, but maybe Zazie Beats can play Harley Quinn. I was like, okay, I can, I can see something like that happening. But I'm excited, man. Well, this is great casting so far for the Joker origin movie. It is completely separate from the DCEU, the DC, the world of DC, whatever you want to call it. It has nothing to do with that franchise, which I love. It's something, it's its own separate entity. It's something different. And I'm excited to see, you know, really some, some close-ups of these characters and characters' descriptions when they actually do release it. Um, this film does start shooting in two weeks, so I'm excited, you guys. I'm super pumped, and we might, maybe we'll get a teaser trailer by January, late December. Who knows? But I'm excited to see more news for this Joker origin movie, you guys. I'm really pumped for this movie. But post your comments down below, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about the cast so far in the film. Do you like it going towards an R rating? And what do you think about Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker? Do you think he's going to nail it? Please post your comments down below, you guys. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch C-Roll Productions. Peace.